Hello guys, what's up? How are you? It's so nice to see you here again. My name is Martino and today I'm gonna show you how to play the Altissimo Ridge, how to bridge into the Altissimo Ridge. If you tried already and failed, it's because it's hard. <laughs> but uh, let's do it. Intro, let's get started. So guys, you wanna play Altissimo Range, the first thing you wanna know is that the Altissimo Range is a killer. It is really hard, okay? It's not to discourage you, but it's actually important to know, okay? That if you struggle, it's normal, okay? Everyone struggles in getting the Altissimo Range, okay? Today, I wanna show you a little trick to get you to the Altissimo Range, to bridge into the Altissimo Range, okay? And that is this. You wanna get comfortable in playing with the alternative fingerings for the palm keys, okay? Now, palm D and D sharp, okay? Uh, those are the positions for those keys. But E, F, and F sharp, you actually have an alternative position, which is using this looking, this funny looking key, which is also called X. Let me show you. Okay, so to get E, we're gonna play a G, but the index is gonna be on the X key instead of the B key. Okay, <clears throat> that, that's an E. Okay, then we go to F, which is basically an A with the index on the X. If you keep this position and you add the A sharp key here, okay, that becomes F sharp. Okay, so the first step is to get those alternative fingerings for high notes pretty comfortable. I would say slur, be comfortable in slurring all those four notes uh, up and down. So, <laughs> slurring is king, okay? You don't, don't tongue it here. To get into G, to play G, okay? I want you to do this. I want you to play only the X key, okay? The A sharp key over here, and then the index, put that on the F. Let me show you. And that should give you a G. So F sharp to G sounds like this. Okay, now tuning wise is not perfect. It's the alternative fingering, fingerings have a different sound. They're a little bit more muffled. They're harder to control, but that's okay. You know, to get you started, that's totally fine, okay? What is that? Okay, so that's what we want. But most likely, this is what you're actually gonna get on that attempting that high G. You're gonna go F sharp to G. And then you're gonna go like, oh, what the hell, what is that? You know, it's normal, it's totally normal, okay? So, first step, slur, E, F, F sharp, and back down, okay? Get that really comfortable. And then, you can maybe try F sharp to G, or F, F sharp, G, all slurred. Here, don't tongue it, forget, forget about the tongue, okay? Okay, so that's the first step, it works. Okay. It just needs a lot of practice, time and patience, okay? I would say, try this, okay? Try alternative fingerings first and then bridge into the altissimo. Give it time, you know, be patient and eventually it will come. Also, your lip will be really, really tired and actually might hurt if you play altissimo too much. So balance it out with other things and don't play it too much otherwise your lip will be gone <laughs> okay so guys that's it we're done for altissimo and um that's it have a great day guys subscribe to see more videos like this you know i've got a bunch of of ideas that i want to put out leave me a comment here below if you have any questions any comments about altissimo about pieces about technique whatever you want to know you can just put it here and below in the comments you can email me at martino at london saxophone school.com for information about lessons we do lessons here in london um, but also on zoom online if you are struggling with your saxophone playing if you need more guidance and if you just you know want more structure in your practice you can join our saxophone performance classes happening on patreon every month i wish you a super great day and uh see you soon bye <laughs>